Hello, everyone. It is your favorite man of God, Pastor Nate with DeliveranceRevolution.org. And thank you for joining us for Deliverance from Same-Sex Attraction and perverse and Perversion. In Jesus' name. Let's start out right now. And ask the Lord to save us. Lord, come into our life. Come into our heart. I do not want to be this way. I ask forgiveness of my sin. Save me, Jesus. Today I die to the old self. Today I'm born again through the blood of Jesus, atoned and paid for through the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I renounce my sin. I turn from sexual perversion. I turn from my wicked ways. If you're shacked up, get unshacked, folks. If you're addicted, Get rid of the dope, whatever you're addicted to. So I renounce it in Jesus' name. Be rejected as a child. Forgive who you were rejected by. Folks, if you need to be discipled long after deliverance, go to deliverancerevolution.org. Contact us. Fill that out, and Pastor Nate will respond to you. Come get discipled. Baptized on Saturday. Learn about the Word of God. Learn how to get free and stay free. Today I'm going to be praying for your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Today's prayer will focus on sensitive topics, specifically dealing with various forms of sexual perversion. If this is something you feel uncomfortable with, others hearing, please be aware that we will address issues related to sexual temptation. So I'm going to be praying against homosexuality and various kinds of sexual perversions. Now, look down in there in the description link of the video and click that PDF. It should be right under the description of the video. And pull that up. That's the word base I'm working from, the word copy. So you got a video. You hit the play button. Use it as much as possible. Get you some oil. Go slow. Take two or three days. Keep doing this till you manifest. But above all, quit sinning. No masturbation. No porn. Keep binding up sexual thoughts in your head and casting them out. If you get attacked when you're doing this prayer, that means it's working. That means the enemy hates it. They don't waste their time attacking something they don't like. Excuse me, waste their time attacking something that they do like, and they want you to sin. Okay, so they don't attack that, but they attack what they don't like. Many people face these issues, whether or not they identify with them. Sometimes people experience attacks from spirits trying to influence them with sexual temptation. Sometimes they're sexually touched in a spirit spouse or incubus case. If you're dealing with sexual perversion, such as incest, homosexuality, lesbianism, transgenderism, remember that you're not beyond redemption. According to 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11, repentance and giving your life to Jesus can lead to deliverance. Sexual temptations may arise from past experience, such as sexual abuse or exposure to ungodly content. It's important to understand this before we proceed. Let's start with the renunciation prayer. Repeat after me. Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, to deliver me. I renounce all sexual perversion, every sort. Name the specific sexual perversion you're dealing with, if applicable. I pray these things. In Jesus' name, now receive as I pray a prayer of deliverance. Now, Father God, I come before you in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the listener of this video. I pray for their deliverance. In Jesus' name, I bind the strong man and come against all kinds of sexual perversion. I come against spirits of homosexuality and lesbianism and every demonic spirit that entered through sexual abuse or rape. Your word says that those who believe in Jesus will never be put to shame. I come against all spirits of shame, guilt, or condemnation to related to past experience. I break these strongholds in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against all debased and reprobate spirits, including those related to homosexuality and lesbianism that entered through sexual abuse or pornography. I command all same-sex attraction, sodomy spirits, and perverse desires to leave in Jesus' name.
spirits of sodomy that influence people towards oral and anal sex, I command you to leave. I come against every spirit that encourages unnatural sexual desires and incest. I pray these spirits will be driven out in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of sexual torment and perverse fantasies coming from pornography or other sources, I command you to leave. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind and cast out spirits of violence, sodomy, and those that promote sexual perversion, spirits of hopelessness. Every spirit of sexual torment and perverse fantasies come out from pornography. Take captive every thought, cast it out of the mind and bind it. Make it obedient to Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus. See Jesus on the cross. He paid for you to be free of this. Out, pornographic, past sexual experience thoughts. Get out. I take it captive. I command you to leave. Come out, fire on you in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind and cast out spirits of violence, sodomy, and those that promote sexual perversion, adultery, lust, spirits of hopelessness, in despair related to sexual temptations, I command you to be broken now in Jesus' name. Every demon associated with body dysmorphia, bitterness towards the opposite sex, or rejection due to failed relationships, I bind you now. Spirits of transgenderism, rebellion against natural sexual desires, and any confusion regarding gender or attraction to inappropriate objects or fetishes, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. I pray for healing from any damage or infections caused by ungodly sexual practices. May all sexual organs and internal organs be healed. I pray for restoration to natural created desires as designed by you. I command every spirit of perversion to leave now. Come out through coughing, burping, or yawning. Loose your hold and go in Jesus' name. Spirits hiding in the throat, chest, or other body parts, come out now every marine kingdom spirit and those associated with new age sexual practices, I command you to leave. Effeminate spirits, Jezebel spirits, any demonic influences that cause unnatural behavior, come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that the fire of the Holy Ghost consumes these spirits. May they flee completely and may the listener find freedom and healing in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus, for complete restoration and freedom today. I am no longer bound by these sins, and I have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you for setting me free in Jesus' name. Folks, if you got something out of this prayer, please like, subscribe, share it, put it on your Facebook, do something. Do something for the kingdom of Jesus Christ. We're, we're, we're crowdfunded, so go to the front of deliverancerevolution.org. There's a PayPal link. Set up $100 a month, sew in offering, 50, 200 or tithe, place your tithe here, but do something because you understand if you keep me doing this and the five or six people that are in the ministry with me doing this round the clock, crusades in Madagascar, full-time man in the ground in Uganda, putting the gospel of Jesus Christ out there, demonized people coming from all over the world, from China to Africa, you understand that's going to make an impact for the kingdom. And just to put it simple, you get credit with God for helping us do that. That's how it works. That's what it's called, sowing and reaping. So sow and reap. I don't have to have you do this. You need to do it. You need to sow into solid ground. I'll also send you some free deliverance manuals. How about that? All right. So send me a contact us. Get scheduled to come to the groups. Let me am. Eastern time, 7 p.m. Eastern time, every day but Sunday. Come to the groups, get discipled, get FOJ, means full on Jesus, wide open for Jesus, not half measures, closed minded to the world, all boundaries tore down, walking in healing and power and authority. There's this anointed ministry, many healings, many deliverances. Get to these groups if you can, folks. We're going to be starting more. If you're like us and FOJ and know the word of God, then come join us. We need to expand. We need more groups. But you can't bring in a bunch of wild doctrine. One of these people that says every time he hears somebody make a grilled cheese sandwich thinks it's God talking to him. We're not going to do that. I sure do love you guys. I'm Pastor Nate with DeliveranceRevolution.org. Thanks for watching. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.